Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here. Welcome into the Tuesday afternoon live show. The crafty sidekick shenanigans is on the other side. Yes. It's great to be with you on Tuesday afternoon. We're excited to spend this time with you today. If you are new to May May Made It, you can find all things May May Made It everywhere you look for My Mom Made It. You can Google it. It'll come up on YouTube, Facebook, even here, everywhere. Even you can here. Find us. Even and here. if you see something that you like in the video today, you can purchase it from our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. If you have not done so yet, please click that box and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time May May Made It has a video come up. But today, what we got? We're going to do something fun. Hey, Miss Lorna, did I see you in a So Yeah live show not long ago? Tell me for sure. I think I did. Um, today, we're going to go way back in time. Nine years. Okay. So a long, 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 long time ago, <laughs> I did a, a door hanger project that was a treat holder door hanger. And I love this thing. I have made it so many times for myself. I think it is the coolest little thing. And it's been ages since I've done it on the channel. And somebody mentioned that it might be fun to go back and look at some of my biggest hits. Well, this is one that didn't get a whole back in time. So I wanted to bring it back to you today. And the funny thing was when I was watching the video, now it's been privated since because it's really, really old. It's not, it's not a great video. But the funny thing is in that video, Vince made an appearance because you made your fall version of Vinny's Vittles, which we can oh, talk about yes. in just a few minutes. But this is a fun one. I thought that was you, Miss Lorna. I wanted to make sure it was, that it was the right Lorna. I was like, is that? Yes, cool. Um, so I want to make this door hanger. Now, I know you just want me to get started working, and I will. But one of the reasons I like to do these kinds of projects this time of year is because we're like, what, two weeks from, from Halloween? Are we? Yeah. Close yeah. to that? And I like to bring you quick projects that you can use for like people in your life, like your neighbors, your coworkers, your students in school, whatever. This is a cute one. OK. And it only takes one piece of eight and a half by 11 per door hanger. And I really like that, too. All right. I'm going to use Buffalo check. Shocking, shocking all. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm I know you're dropping. It, it's not a shock compared to the last one nine years ago. No, that, that was a shock. Um, so this one, I'm going to be using the Buffalo check on one side, but I'm going to score it on this side so you guys can see it. And these are your score marks. On your eight and a half by 11 inch side, I want you to score it half an inch. And by the way, I didn't even edit any of these score marks. It's literally what I did in the video. So half an inch. And then I want you to score it at two inches. I'm looking at my cheat sheet over here. Then six and a half. And then eight. So easy. You can really make these a bunch at a time. All right. Then I'm going to turn it around. And on the 11 inch side, we're going to score at six and three quarters. If you make bad notes, you have bad measures. And eight and one quarter. <laughs> How about I just scored that? Wrong, I just scored in the wrong spot. You guys ignore this one because my notes threw me. Because I, I scratched them over here. So six and three quarters is right. And then eight and one quarter is right. But I'm going to have to erase out that one. Oh, you can't see it. Does anybody know you can do that? You can just press it down. But you can't see it for the pattern. All right. So ignore this line. So you've got these two right here. That's what we want to do. All right. Now let's do some trimming. Let's do some trimming up. I'm going to come back here, and these are the only two lines we're working with. Remember, that one is a, is a mistake. We're not going to use that one. And I'm going to do some slicing. It's very easy. We do very little cutting, okay? All right, so we're going to go and cut to the left-hand side of this score mark, okay? And then I'm going to make an angle cut, just like so. And then I'm going to cut to the right-hand side of this score mark, Meaning we're cutting the score mark away. And then I'm going to cut an angle here. The angles don't matter. You're just taking out some bulk. Now, I'm going to leave this guy in. In my previous video, I cut it out. But I think it's useful. And I'll show you in the end how I what we do to treat it. All right. Then I'm going to cut right here. Same thing. Left-hand side of this score mark and cut an angle. And then I'm going to go to the other one and do right-hand side of that score mark. 
and then cut an angle. Just taking some bulk out. Lisa, to Vinny, to Vinny the video, Vinny the <laughs> means video. to like it. Give us a thumbs up. That's what that means. So when you see people saying they did that, that's what that means. Now we're going to fold and crease. Now here's the thing. I am using a double-sided piece of cardstock on purpose. I want this part of my door hanger to be buffalo check, and I want the pocket to be black. I don't think it'll be neat to do that, but I want to show you something. These flaps on the side, let me fold these in so you can see them. These flaps, we don't have to use these for anything, and I want to show you what I'm going to use them for. We don't have to, like, use them in the construction. I want to use these to sturdy this guy up. OK, this will be where we punch our hole for the door for the doorknob to come through. But if you just use a single piece of cardstock, it's pretty it's pretty thin and it could fall through or fall off the door. So I'm going to glue these down back here on the back. I'm not worried about what they look like. It's perfectly fine. They won't touch all the way in the middle. But I promise you'll have a much sturdier. Oh, I don't want to do that yet. You have a much sturdier product if you do this, but don't do it just yet. Let me show you why. If you're going to use a die cut for this, you can go ahead and glue it down, but I'm going to use a punch and a punch doesn't like my punch doesn't like to go through that many layers. So don't do that part yet. I'm going to use a two and a half inch circle punch. Okay. And this again, like I said, is the door hanger section. So this is where your doorknob will go. All right. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to eyeball center. Now, you don't have to. I always say this all the time. Let me show you how I would find the center. OK, I would take my ruler that has my zero feature, my little Tim Holtz zero feature, and I would put my marks on either side of at that score mark the same. You see that? Just make sure I have the same. So I've got two and a quarter here and I've got two and a quarter there. And then I would make a pencil mark. Can your husband throw a wrinkle in? Oh, sure. I'm just asking a question because. If I'm if I'm looking at this right, you're gonna punch a hole out and then you're gonna fold those over. And punch again. And punch again. Just hang in for the ride. Hey, I just want to make sure because no, I was good. like, if you fold it over, there's no you're hole. I'm not the more. only one thinking that, I'm sure. That was a good question. So at least I was paying you attention. You were thinking ahead. I was thinking That's ahead because I was thinking if you double punch it, it'd be done. But I can't because like I said, about thickness. here's the thing. These punches right here, you need to be delicate with these big circles. If you're not careful, you can mess your punch up. And I don't want to yeah. do that. We so we're not going to force it, it. So see that little circle? That lets me know where the center is. Now, it's not the center center. I want you to see that. It's just the middle. So I'm just going to line this guy up where that feels like it's in the middle. And what I'm using for my guideline for how far down to punch is ever how deep my punch will go. Okay. Which is as far as I can go. I would eyeball this too. I would not stress over all that. So you can see there's the top of our door hanger. And you can see this area is kind of thin. That's why I like to double this. And we're going to do something else too to make it even sturdier. But now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this guy down and we can then punch here. Okay. So when you're applying your glue, apply it to this side, not to the flat side. Because don't worry about what hangs over. It won't hurt anything. What, you know, the glue that'll stick out on the other side. Don't worry about that. Apply it like this. And then we can punch. The other thing I want to do is come right here and just add a little extra right there. And now I'm going to press this down again. Don't worry about that in the middle. It might get on my glass mat, but I can wipe it off. That's a two and a half inch circle, right? I'm using a two and a half inch. However, in my original video, I used a two inch scallop punch, which I had tried on my doorknobs and it worked. So if you only have a two inch scallop and probably if you only have a two inch, I wouldn't. OK, if you are making this out of chipboard, then you could do that whole cut thing where you open it and put it over the doorknob. But this is not I don't think depending on what you put in it, it would be strong enough for you to cut this. If yeah. that makes sense. Now, if you're not putting hardly anything in it, but this is just cardstock. OK. All right. So I'm going to put this in now and cut again. And there we go. I want to get it all the way in so I can just punch through one layer. There we go. Perfect. We got it done. Now up here. I'm going to read this. Is, I did not do this nine years ago. I'm going to reinforce this again. I'm going to put a little here. A little here. A little glue. Got sneeze. Sorry, you guys. Sorry for the microphone that came on quick. Blushing, and I'm going to glue this like this. I so had you doing that the other way and then using the circle punch to cut the middle out again. 
and then I'm just going to use my scissors and go. Shk. That's it. I just wanted to How add you don't go? Shkunk, like this. Watch. She's getting sound effects Shkunk. from me, y'all. Shkunk. Just like that. Mm. All right. Quick and easy to do because now all we got to do is build the bottom. And this is so easy. So on the sides, we're going to fold this in and score or crease. And then I'm going to fold this little. Remember, we had this little half inch piece down here. We're going to crease. You can guess what that's for, right? And then we're going to do this side. And listen, I was thinking about this. I was like, where are all the places you could use this? Well, let me just name a few. If you have someone getting married and they have like dressing rooms or hotel rooms or something like that, you could put this on their hotel room door and you don't have to put it on the outside. You could put it on the inside. So when they come in, they have a little treat. Like if the groomsmen have a space and you want to hang this maybe on closet doors, maybe they have a closet with their stuff. Think outside the box. You don't just have to do this for, you know, neighbor treats or something. This would be a cute little tooth fairy um, door hanger. Oh, it like would. Three little prizes in. It would be super cute for that. $20 bills <clears throat> rolled up that kids think they're supposed to get now when they lose teeth. $20 for a tooth? Yeah, they think. At least oh, mine man. thinks. I had to burst his bubble. I didn't bring my teeth to your house. No, nah, he don't get that. He thinks he needs to get that. Don't I'm going to put these little flaps <laughs> to the inside. And then I'm going to nah. put glue on the outside of this little flap. I'm a $5 max on the tooth. And it's all according to how much you struggle to get it out. If it's one that gives you a pain for a while, you can get $5. If it's I just one you. of those, you walk out in there and you pull it out. Okay. Then you just get a dollar. You see what I did there? I just turned that up. This little flap gets glued right inside there. Just like that. I love these kinds of projects. You can use sticky tape here if you want. In my original one, I use sticky tape. Miss Joan, you're funny. <clears throat> she said okay. she was getting a little bit claustrophobic, getting boxed in. Boxing things in. <laughs> now, here's what I did. I told y'all that I cut those out the first time, those little flaps. This time I didn't, these little guys, because I think I like it better having, let me get it where you can see. I like it better having a full closure in the bottom so nothing falls out. And what I did was I put a little glue. <clears throat> Hang on, I'll show y'all. I put a little glue like that and I tacked it up. <laughs> that sneeze has now made me have to drink your tea. All right, I'm going to do the other side. Little glue on the flap. Not much, just enough to tack it up. You see, I'm just putting that little dot and then just tack that in place. And look at this little guy. So Fresh. you could tack it the other way too, right? Down? Yeah. Yeah, the reason I did it though is because if I put them up, I don't have a hole here. If I tack it down, I have a hole between the side and the bottom. Does that make sense? No. See, by taking that flap up, it closes the inside all together. Yes. I don't have another one to show yes, you. Yes, I see You now. see what I'm saying? If I hadn't, and what I did, my original design, I didn't do that. And what I didn't like about it was if I put anything heavy, it would poke and that would separate. Makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. I like it like this. I just thought if you put it down and you'd have black in the bottom too, and it would just kind of be cute. It would be cute, but it's bubble check. Why would you want to cover that up? Well, you know, just pattern. Because it's bubble. Why would you cover up my favorite color? I wouldn't. Let's make it cute. Can I play a little bit today? Well, it's your show. Your picture's on the dough. I'm glad you've acknowledged that. May May made it. Yeah, I think you can. We're gonna play with Howdy Pumpkin. I love this little stand. And y'all, this is the this is why I wanted to do this one. This stamp set is the easiest stamp set to fussy cut. If you're going to fussy cut, this is the one to do. Just watch. I didn't even pre-fussy cut because I want to show you how easy it is. All right. So you don't have to fussy cut. You can totally use the free SVG. There is a free SVG. But I don't want to have a white line around the edge. I want to cut them out. All right. So I'm doing the pumpkins, the bucket, and the stand. And I chose, there's two roofs. Roofs? They're not roofs. Awnings? There's two awnings. You can do this one or you can do this one. And for what I'm doing, I felt like this one was more more my style today. I thought you had to do both of them. You think I have to? Well, I mean, one's your sign and one's your awning. Oh, I, I don't think I have room for both of them. Well, look, this is what I'm doing. You can get a sneak peek. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so I did a practice one. 
I'll show y'all in the end my practice one. All right, so let's get this stamp. I'm stamping in dye ink. Wow, my impressible was heavy when I picked that up. It almost fell out of my hand. Um, I'm using dye ink because I'm going to color. I also want to show how easy the coloring. Now, I'm going to do this twice. It's pretty good, and I could really let it go, but I like to do it twice like to do it this would be a cute treat holder to leave on your co-workers desk i think it'd be so cute hint hint oh. what's the name of that stamp set you're using howdy pumpkin howdy pumpkin look it is the greatest for sayings look at this you've got um you've got howdy pumpkin okay but you got i pick you love you way to go thinking of you thank you best wishes um hey there so hey, you, there, hey there pumpkin, pumpkin. too cute all right, so there is that. Sit that over there. Now then, really quickly. So, gotcha question. When you use the SVG, do you first, do you stamp first or cut then stamp? Um, I cut then stamp because I cut it in my joy and then I take the mat from the joy and put it into the misty and then I line my stamps up and do it like that because the the small mat from your Cricut Joy fits your Misty perfect. But I think you should cut and stamp no matter what because it holds everything still. And if you really want to have good stamping, I think I have videos on this. If you want to have good SVG stamping tips, peel the background out so that all that's left is the bubble shape. And it's so much easier to line your stamps up. If you leave the paper in solid, it's harder to line them up. Now, ahead of time, I lined this guy up on the second wheel. So I'm going to stamp the word pumpkin inside of there. And I'm just going to use the same ink because I'm going to color. So this is still dye ink. Okay. Which one of these tools do you think is easier to use, this or the Misty? They're both easy to use. This one has another function it can do. But I love this. Did y'all see that? Did y'all just see that motion? I like this motion. And, and look, it does not make my Misty. My Misty's right here and it's loaded with a stamp because I use it. I literally use them all the same. But I like this motion. I like doing this. I like doing this, and I like flipping it over. The thing is, this this will do more. I just use it as a platform, but it'll do more. All right, so we got everything stamped. Let's color. I'm not coloring in here. Y'all want to see why I won't color with it in here? It doesn't matter. Because she doesn't stain Shannon's. That's not it. Well, I've stained them both now. Uh-huh. Like matter. I said, I've stained them both. But <laughs> I haven't used one yet. So if you okay. color through with alcohol markers, it's going to stain. And I tried getting this out even with our, with the Nuvo cleaner that does so good and it still didn't come out. So don't it's do high. that if you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So color it's outside it of it. It's it's loved. Now let me show y'all this. Let me show you quick. You can do this, okay? This is how easy. Are these the same colors? Nope. Cocoa and tan. I love... If you and we probably don't have any of these, they sell it every time we get them. But these are the RT no colorista markers. These colorista markers with this brush nib, I'm in love. And here's what you do this is why you can make so many of these. We just want this to look like wood. I'm not stressing. You see that? I'm scratching. I just want it to look like wood. Yes, Sandy, I just read your comment a minute ago. Thank you. It's very sweet. And then doing the top. I love this brush nib. And I did it really, really fast. Okay. I just then I'm going to do the others. Markers. The markers. I do too. I yeah. love them. All right. Check this out. This color, which looks super, super orange, is perfect for this pumpkin. Look. Y'all going to be like, oh, she's making a mess. No, she's not. I may don't know how to color. I don't. I'm not, a color, I'm not a colorista, so I use colorista markers and slop it on. Y'all see how I'm just slopping this? This is why you can make these, because we're slopping. Tan for this guy. Oh, wrong end. We have some of the markers in stock. Yay! Probably not the ones you're using. <laughs> this is the, uh, the three sets. I pulled from all three. We have the natural tones. You can see the ones I pulled. Oh, I'm not looking at that. I love these <laughs> markers. Tamitha loves them too. All right, for my for my bouquet, it's a good selection of colors in this in these packs, and they're only ten dollars. That's what I love too.
for the bouquet, we're going to color it brown. Yes, if you are OCD, I can see how this would cause you anxiety. I don't know. I think if you're OCD, you should try this. And let me show you why. Let me show you why. Because you get to clean this up. And I think sometimes when my OCD friends enjoy the cleanup. You know what I'm saying? You I know, mean, I get what you're saying. How so many people say it's satisfying to reorganize something or something like that. Watch how satisfying this is. So this little sign right here is a straight line. And see how fun it is to clean it up? Now you want to know my favorite thing in fussy cutting like this? Taking that black pen and going around the edge. You enjoy doing that? Yes. It, like all my mess ups go away. Mm -hmm. Or a colored pen or just ink in the edge. Whatever you do to make the edge clean. See how we just clean that up? I just think that's cool. If you are OCD, I think you would enjoy doing this. Especially here, watch straight line. I'm not good at calligraphy writing. I have tried. Um, but I do like using the colorista. Um, I like writing with those markers. They have two different tips. The one she colored with, which is the brush tip. And then the other side is more point. of a bullet point. And you can write with it. And um, it's good. And then the, um, the fine line pens by Colorista. They are really good. And they have all the pretty colors. They're alcohol markers. So you can blend with them. They're dual sided. Now see how slopping that looks like wood? Isn't that yeah, funny? It does. It's cool, isn't it? You have the brush tip and then like a marker tip. And they're really nice markers. The colors are good in them. Like it's, it's, it's a good assortment. I forgot my stems. Oh, how dare you? Well, there's videos of Meme using the Joy. There's like a lot of videos. SVGs. Me showing you how, me telling you the best ways. There's lots of videos. Probably, do we have like a fussy cutting playlist? Oh, I don't know why I went around that because I'm not even using it. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so get this guy cut out. Um, so is this not a thing for people who are OCD to like clean this up? Would this not be satisfying to like go, look, it's perfect? I don't know. Would you not enjoy it? Like cleaning it up? I mean, probably the cleaning up, but I probably would have a hard time just coloring over it like that. I know, I'm crazy. No. You've seen me do a tree. No. You saw me pull pull. What's a, what's a, what's a Shannon, Shannon does. Okay, there's people who cut corners. <clears throat> and then there's people who and don't. And then there's Shannon. Shannon does not. I don't know how. Shannon does not. Now, these are very tendrily. I'm cutting those tendrils off. You don't need I have them. cut the tendrils off those pumpkins. They're really cute. Y'all know I fussy. The, that's too fussy. You just don't need them, though. And if you do want them, Sylvia put an extra tendril on the stamp set where's it at i saw it today where'd it go if you do want it use your great memento pen and did you lose your tendril are you drinking what is that on my stamp set all right shannon what is this it's a tendril is it not on did this come from another stamp set and i put it on here have fun with that. And guess what? It's going to stay. Maybe there's there. not an extra tendril. Did I add that from another stamp set because I wanted an extra tendril on there? Someone asked what scissors are you using, Doug? Cutter bees. These are my cutter bees. I think these are Teflon coated. <clears throat> that looks like a wave. Is it? It's from another stamp set. Clearly, I thought it was from this one. Obviously. The hardest part of this project are the oh, pumpkins. Why? The rest is easy. Very confused. As to what I have stuck on the stamp set? Or what somebody else stuck on your stamp set? It's probably me. What is stuck on your stamp set? One more. It's like art glitter glue over here.
you guys, I want y'all to watch my Instagram and my shorts and stuff like that this afternoon because I'm going to post for y'all what we did behind the cash register today. <clears throat> and I'm absolutely in love with it. And Shannon did 99.9% .9 of the work. Angela asked, does the Joy use Wi-Fi? Is it wireless? Um, it is wireless. It's, it's wireless, but it can also be wired. It also has a wire, like the connector. Okay, now, here's something else I want to do. I want to cut this white part out that I didn't color. Y'all probably like, why didn't you color it? Because I'm going to put a pumpkin in this bucket. So I'm just cutting that little part out. We don't need it. All right, now, you can't do none without cookie dough. <laughs> well, are we going to a store? It's right here, cookie dough. You know what I said in the retail store? We need a bacon tray. We need to have these laid out on a bacon tray. That's how you pick them up and buy them. That'd be so funny. I actually looked when I was at Rusty baking to see if I could find tray. something. At first, I thought you said a bacon tray. A bacon tray would work because you bacon. could put bacon on a bacon a tray. bacon tray. I'm like, why do we need a tray of bacon? The thing is, I was looking for something to put this on because I thought it would be so cute. Miss Johnson, May May, you are driving me crazy, falling off my chair. You are such a cut up. <laughs> I'm a cut up. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Miss John. Now, Peggy said, Are you sure the joy can be wired? Yeah, that's how I got mine to. We turned around. You can't. Uh -uh. Hold on. You can hardwire it? Oh, the joy doesn't have a connector. I lied. Glad She's she said it. She's a liar. My cricket has a one, but I did. I mean, my bigger one does, but I guess that one doesn't. She did not mean to lie. I didn't mean to. I was absolutely ignorant on that one. You Bluetooth the joy. I thought they all had the wire because if you have to do heart, I don't guess you have to do. Yeah, a, it is Bluetooth. But I guess you don't have to do a um, a firmware update on it then. No. I don't know. That's interesting. I've never paid attention. I just plug and play. I'm not very good at all that technical stuff. If I can't plug and play, I don't want to do it. But honestly, I don't plug and play much because I don't like to do that either. This is what I like to do. Well, you know why? Kinda, My scissors don't have to be calibrated. The thing is, there's kind of a time and a place for all of it. But Shannon. Yeah, they don't. They don't have to be calibrated. And we don't have to like cut and paste and slice and figure stuff out to make our scissors work. And the last time we tried to cut circles on the Joy, we did not have, we had ovals and we gave up and used a punch. So you just have those days. And sometimes your scissors are easier to pick up. That one was tiny. That one more. Tiny. Can't believe you were so messy with those. And now they're so cute. I'm telling you, it's easy to do. This one's an easy one. I like how that pumpkin turned out. All the scissors got calibrated in kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to have an 800 number for when I mess something up. 1-800, I cut my finger. Nope. All right, there's one other thing I want to do, and I got to show y'all. I think it is so cute. I'm moving those out of the way. Okay, look, I found, okay, here's a scrap, right? And do you see that this scrap is bent? It inspired me. So watch this. I think this turns out really cute. Here it is. I loaded the word howdy, and I'm going to use my memento again. And I'm going to stamp him down here. And he's perfectly shaped to do this. Let me show y'all. So there's the word howdy. Um, Lisa, we don't print our photos here. We print them at the drugstore and pick them up. It just winds up being cheaper and easier for us. Okay, watch. Do you see the shape of the bottom of Howdy? I'm going to follow it with my scissors like this. And just let my scissor go where it goes. Okay. Then I'm going to come to the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to follow the shape. And then I'm just going to let it go off like that. Then I'm going to cut a V down here. Don't touch I'm yourself. a little shaky today. I got too much left here. I'm going to cut a V here. Like that. Then I'm going to take my bone folder. And on this end, I'm going to do like this. Okay, 
and then I'm going to turn it over and bring it back. So see how I got that? Look at you. And then I'm going to come down here and do the same thing. Turn it out, turn it over, bring it back. And see what I end up with? I'm going to do this one. I flattened it with my finger. There we go. Look at that. How cute is that little banner? Right? And now let's put it all together. All right. I've given you this tip before. If you have dyes that you love and that you think you'll use all the time, go into your bin, your cardstock scraps, okay? And if they will fit in your die, cut them. And that's what we did here. We cut all of these little fences ages ago. I didn't have to think about cutting today because I had all these done. And I might use a fence because I think they're cute, okay? This one's super cute, isn't it? I like that one too. Watch me split the difference and use that one. I don't really like that one. I like that one better. So these are pre-cut. This is such a good tip for dies and for scrap busting. Grab out. This was probably two or three scraps that we had. And Shannon ran these through to cut them out. And now we have little fences for when we want them. And we don't have to um, even get our dye machine out at all. We did the same with grass. We took a bunch of different colors of grass and cut it. And how many times have we used these? A lot. We dig in, and we're not anywhere near done with this. We dig into this all the time. Oh, that's a cute one. Look at that. Cute, cute, cute. I love this tip. Because I'm going to pull out that piece of grass and use it on this project, and I still have all those left. Do it with clouds. Do it with ovals, circles, squares. Um, do it with what's some hearts, stars, moons, clovers. Whatever else you have. I'm telling you, it's a clouds. good piece. You said clouds. I said clouds. All right. And then I'm going to decide how I want to do this. I want you to be able to see my little stand. And putting him in front of the fence might be weird, but it might be the way I have to do it because I want you to be able to see him. So let's see how I can line this little guy up the best. He's going to go from edge to edge. It's going to bother y'all if I put him, if I put my stand on top of him. But I kind of like him there. Let's turn that down. I'll probably end up cutting that off. Or I could extend it with this little guy. I'm coming back. My computer froze up it. again. Did it do it again? Yep. Kick oh, out. I want to cookie dough this. I want to cookie dough it. It keeps freezing. That clear sleeve is from Brutus Monroe. And we found out yesterday they don't make them anymore. So we're very sad. So we're on the hunt. So we're going to be trying to find some more clear sleeves to bring in. I love because that. Because Shannon's picture's gone. I love that. Yeah, she's working to come back. It froze up again. It's probably going to be gone, y'all. Mine went out a while ago, but it came right back. Little cookie dough. Little more cookie dough. Um, I want to cook it over the grass. I do really wish that uh, there was scent to this cookie dough. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. If we were making everything smell like cookie dough. This is what I love about cookie dough. Look, it looks like I had the perfect green. Do you see that? Let me do it heavier. Camera just washes everything out. It's like cookie dough doesn't change the color of the cards. I mean, doesn't doesn't lay down a color. It enhances the already cardstock color. I don't know how to explain it. I tried. Let me show you again up close. See how it looks like I had the perfect green? And look, it looks like, well, let me do it heavy because y'all are going to see this on camera. And it looks like we had the perfect brown. That's the same ink. Isn't that crazy? Love it. I love, love, love it. Shannon's trying. She's she's almost back, it looks like. Maybe. There she is. She's back. Oh, <laughs> did you not know you're back? You made a face. I'm sorry. Because it keeps freezing on me. Even still? Yeah. You're not frozen now. I had to come off of hardwire and go to internet. I mean, Wi-Fi. That's weird. Yeah, hardwire streaming. Might need to re reboot. All right, so let's glue this down. 
this is a good place for the sticky folio, but you know what? We're just going to do this. Don't need this much glue, but I'm doing it. Okay. She's back. I'm here. She was gone, which, but she brought it back. I brought it back. Look how cute it is. I think that's so adorable. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, Sean. Hey, what's that glue gun you're using? It is called the Precision Glue Press. And it is by My Sweet Petunia. And right now it is sold out, but hopefully it will be back soon they in say december. december they say december and she has her art glitter glue in it yeah other side isn't this cute it's cute just like this just with the fence now, i don't know about you but our grass is going to grow on the outside of this fence but i think grass can do that can't it grow on both sides it's always greener on the other side anyway right i mean yeah Amanda, we do ship to the UK. Yes, it's all um, according to if you weed eat. Isn't it cute though? So our, our whenever guys we get it back, we can send it to you there. I'm going to bring this up. Where am I going to put it? Just like that. Perfect. I'm going to glue Just this like right at the bottom of that little fence line. Ooh. I'm slinging. Slinging stuff. Look at that. It's so good. Yep. Our glitter glue season's just about over. Y'all better grab it. Um, now, May May's glue press works really well. I love um, it. We haven't had any issues. You might check the suction on your bottle. To make sure it hasn't developed a like suction with the glue if it's not a vacuum. Um, so you might undo it and tighten it back up, but don't over tighten it. I don't have um, enough grass to go all the way around. I do, but I'm not going to take the time to get it out of the thing and do all that right now. We're just going to finish this. We're going to let it be on the front. Okay, now I want to take this little guy and I'm going to glue him up here like this. So he's going to hang over a little bit because I think that's cute. So let's add some glue across here. Burp the bottle. That's right, Sam. Put it over your shoulder. And see how I did it at a little angle? Because I feel like if a little kid made this, it would be at an angle. If I made it, it would not be straight. We know this. And then look, this little banner that says Howdy Pumpkin. Oh, my goodness. It's going to go right up here. I think it's so cute. So I only want to glue those little curvy parts. Lisa said this reminds her of the Peanuts cartoon when Lucy was charging five cents for advice. Does. Me too. hundred percent. Mighty cute though. Sounds like my Lucy. Isn't that cute? Now let's do our pumpkins. Although I feel like Lucy's advice right now would be bye Felicia. <laughs> That's all, <laughs> all she says. Oh, I'm putting my, my pumpkin on the back of this little bucket. Ah. And I'm going to turn it around and make sure it's in there right. And what I mean by that is you just don't want it hanging off one side because it wouldn't look real like that, right? And then I'm going to put my little bucket down. I think I'm going to pop these on foam. I think they'll be cute popped up. Oh, I didn't get any foam. Is there any light in here? Sounds like a personal problem. Go and get you some, please. I thought I had a little pack, but I don't. Foam. I got foam. I got foam. I got foam. Foam. And pokey tool. I, right here. I ain't got no pokey tool. I got that. And let's put some foam on the back. Won't this be cute? Oh, oh, I thought I didn't put you in, Shannon, but I did. I just looked up and you weren't there. But you are. That's because I rolled to get foam. No, like um, it had the add to the screen on your name, and I was like, she is on the screen. I just lost it. It's just me. Gotta have it. I gotta have it to lose it. I yeah. agree. All right. There we go. Let's put down a pumpkin. That's so fresh. It's cute. 
I think it's adorable. And listen, Excuse you're like, me. yeah, but it took you this long to make one. But you don't make one at a time. You mass produce these. You know what I'm saying? You do all of one part, do all of the other part, do all the other part, and it doesn't take as long. I'm just doing one. Maggie, I don't see that on our on our side on Facebook. Are you watching on where where are you watching on Facebook? On the uh, the Man Man Made It page or I'm going to call that done for now. Now, if I was given this, if I had a treat going inside, I knew what was going inside of it. I might add something, you know, kind of around my treat. Another thing I think would be cute is to use this stamp set where it says like sweet corny just for you, a special treat for you, or use one of their other treat stamps. And it might be cute to put a tag hanging off the top or make the back like a card. Do a little card back back here. I think you could do a lot. Now, in my previous one, I made some fall Vinnie's Vittles and all that was. It changes, but for that fall, he had used pretzels, peanuts, and candy corn and mixed that together. And we put it in a bag. I tied a bow on the bag and sat it down inside, which is also why I gave myself so much space because I knew I was going to be putting a bag of treats in it then. And I just think that's super cute. Wouldn't this be cute to give to somebody? Now, this was this was my real one, and this was my practice one. Miss Betty, it's for um, so you can hang it over a doorknob. And that look at the difference between my practice and my real. What changes, you know, step the little fence is cute. Little I like it. It's cute. It, I actually, uh, Corinne, in my video, I actually say this would be cute for you, been booed. Yep. <laughs> um, because you could put the little boo, I think it's a poem or a, a poem or a limerick or something that you put on it and then put the sweets inside of it. It'd be cute. The circle is there so you can hang it on a doorknob. That's what it's for, basically. That's bigger than a doorknob. That'd be funny if it would fit though. Yes, this is a door hanger. It's for your doorknob. I think it's super cute. So anybody would love getting this. And you could use it for so many things. Coworkers hanging on their office door. Um, teachers hanging on teacher doors. If you're afraid it'll get taken, put it on the inside of the door. Like, it'd be so cute. But that's it, you guys. I did that in 45 minutes. I was surprised. I thought it would take me longer. Color cut and everything. Good job. <clears throat> All right, good job, good job. Questions. All right, did we have something to tell them today? So just uh, for your information, those of you looking for product, the uh, Mente shipment is on the way. Um, Katie Sue is on the way. Um, a stamp reorder order is on the way. So there's a lot of product that's going to be coming in. We have been working very hard to beef up the store the PA with product. So for those of you that will be here next week for Craft Acropolis, the store is loaded. Oh. So be sure to bring all your secret money that you've been hiding and saving up. Your stash. Bring it. Your There'll husband's be some good stash. deals in the store next week also. So Your kid's Christmas money. I didn't know about that. You told me we had to you have deals in I don't the know. store. You told me something I don't know. There will be something. I've got some stuff planned. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I want to bring that to you. I hope you enjoyed it. It was super fun to do. Um, again, watch. If you don't follow us on Instagram, go follow. If you don't follow us on um, Facebook, go follow us there because I love to do short stuff, little short content. And a lot of the decorating we've been doing, I've been filming. I haven't put it up yet, but we're getting ready for Christmas because we're not, nothing is completed except behind the cash wrap. And I love it. I can't wait for y'all to see it. So I'm going to share that with you guys this afternoon so you can see. And I did a time lapse of it so you could watch Shannon work. It's kind of funny because um, our maintenance man walks into the time lapse <laughs> and I really don't know how to edit a time lapse. So he may just have to stay there. I don't know if to do about it. So, but he's, he's just a blur. He's a blur, but he's working on the roof because we had some leaks recently. So we're grateful he's in the video because we love when they're fixing roofs and stuff like that. Right. So oh, thank you. We got a super chat from Donna. Donna, thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> thank noise. you so much for that. Um, oh, it would be so cute with the delivery truck. That would be so cute. And you know what? For your mailbox, you can hang it off your flag. That would be so adorable. I love that. Or if you have the old school mail metal mailbox, it still has a little hanging thing. A little hang on the, yeah. And the finger this pull. would be cute. All right, you guys. We're going to head out for the day. I'm going to let Vinny say a prayer as we head out um, to head back to decorating. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's have a word of prayer to close out today. 
Hey, God, thank you so much for this day. Thanks for this time that we can hang out. I thank you for the gift of teaching and creativity that you've given May May. I thank you for the, the opportunity that we have to share our love for you with everyone watching, as well as sharing her gifts and her talents. Um, we thank you for uh, Shannon and all the, the blessings that she brings to May May Made It and for our whole staff. And Lord, most importantly, we thank you for everyone watching today. God, I pray that you'd bless them, that you'd be with them no matter what they're going through, what they're struggling with, or whether they're just right now on the mountaintop. But Lord, I pray you'd be with them and comfort them and bless them for the time they give to us. Lord, today I lift up uh, Wayne to you, God, that you would continue to work a miracle in his life. And Lord, I lift up Ryan Watts to you, God, that today you'd be with him and his mom and dad uh, as he's trying to continue to get better. Lord, we thank you for for who you are, for the fact that you're able to do things more than we could ever even imagine or think. So God, help us to trust you and to rely on you and to rest in that comfort. We ask it in your precious son's name. Amen. Amen. I want to say to you real quick before we go, if you would remember Becky Player's family, we lost and made it this week. It was very, very um, sudden and we were surprised. All of us were very surprised. Becky was a Precious, precious friend of the channel, yep. friend of us. Um, she had been to Verbena store many times. She went on a cruise with us. She, she was a very, very precious lady. And I found out in a blur, I had no idea. It was just, hey, did you know? And I didn't know. I didn't even know that she was uh, going for surgery or anything. So please remember Becky Player's family as they um, go through this. But I do know Miss Becky um, was a precious saint, sweet, sweet lady. And so I was grateful that God put our paths together and we got to know her. It was a blessing for us to get to know Miss Becky. So please remember her family. And we appreciate you guys so much for your prayers and what you do to lift up fellow made it. All right, you guys, we love you very much. Have a wonderful afternoon. And until next time, bye now.